Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kim Cochran and I am a YouTuber living here in sunny California where luckily the weather has calmed down. It's getting a little bit cooler. I live in the Central Valley, so very close to the Big Creek fires. If you've been seeing that on the news, the largest fire in California, they're saying now ever, so it's crazy. So even though the weather is cooler, we've been having to deal with a lot of smoke. It rained just a tiny bit over the weekend, so we did get a little bit of a reprieve from the smoke, but um, I can't complain because there's so many people that have been devastated by the fires. The university that I work for actually has had a retreat house up in Shaver Lake. The Big Creek Fire was burning and the retreat house is no longer. It was burned down. And I also have several friends who evacuated from Shaver Lake. No one has lost their home that I know of personally, fortunately. So many people on our local nightly news that have and so it's just devastating. And um, But luckily they are very upbeat and positive about rebuilding. They're, they're together as a community. They're all safe. The local fairgrounds have donated their spaces for the animals that have been displaced. And our local Red Cross is helping families free of charge with housing at hotels. And many local churches have are donating food, clothing, supplies. They've actually stopped asking for donations. They said no more donations. We have plenty. They have plenty. And, um, and so it's been wonderful. Our community really comes together at times like this. Thank you guys for your prayers and know that I am praying for you, all of you that are in places that are being hard hit by tornadoes and hurricanes and all the craziness that Mother Nature has brought us during this crazy COVID 2020 year. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my box of goodies that I'm going to be using to put together, have started putting together for a fall collab that I was invited to join by Tiho Creates, Lucia. Thank you, Lucia, so much. Guys, this is my first collab ever since I've been back to crafting. I'm a little bit anxious and a little bit nervous. I've been seeing other people that are in the collab already sharing videos of what they've created or what they're creating. Um, guys, I am just, I work best under pressure. <laughs> That's just, that's just me. Um, and so I like to think about what I'm gonna do and gather everything and then just have everything in front of me and then just get to it. So I've started creating a few little things, but not much. This weekend will be the big push to get everything finished and then be ready to post a video of my creations, creations. I'm making a few things um, on Sunday, October the 3rd. And I am going to be having a giveaway and I'll talk to you a little bit about more about that later. And then on the day that I post the collab, I'll also share then. So guys, before I start that, I want to share something with you and tell you about this broccoli. Um, yes, I bought a, brought a piece of broccoli to my craft room to show you this crown of broccoli. So I'm still getting groceries delivered for the most part just going to the grocery store when I absolutely have to and guys today I got a grocery delivery and I asked for a crown of broccoli I paid two dollars and 29 cents for this from Vons Vons delivered this to me and it's barely the size of my palm can you see that so when I opened it up I thought are you kidding me we are in an agricultural valley sending broccoli all over the United States and this is what I got so I promptly called Vons and I said um, do you want me to send you a picture of the broccoli that I just paid two dollars and 29 cents for I'm not happy about it no questions asked don't bring your broccoli back when you're in the store the next time or when you have another grocery delivery you are credited two dollars and 29 cents and I know it's just two dollars and 29 cents but it's the principle of it the whole thing seriously I mean Raleigh and this is not even enough for Raleigh and I well if you liked broccoli so that's it okay guys that's my little rant about Vons I'm not ranting about Vons really I'm ranting about this broccoli because I really do like Vons and really I think it was my shopper's fault he should have done something differently anyway that's okay all right, guys, I'm going to get to the rest of the Look video. This box, guys, I've been accumulating this stuff that I'm going to turn into my fall collab. Right. So I cut these banners out of the top of an Amazon box that I had. Okay, so I'm going to be making some sort of a banner. 
And then with that banner, I needed some of this um, burlap type of stuff. Okay, I went to Hobby Lobby the other day and I got these flowers. I already had these in my stash from last year maybe. I bought these stickers at Hobby Lobby. I've already used a few. I bought these assorted gemstones. I love these colors. Not sure how I'm going to use those yet. I bought a package of these turkeys already. I've already used them in another project, so I went back to Hobby Lobby and bought another package. I love these puffy leaves. They're 16 in here. Got these at Hobby Lobby. A pair of socks. This is a really fun thing that I'm going to actually be doing with this pair of socks. This cup in my stash, I have two of them. I'm not sure if the idea I have is going to work out with it, so I'm just going to hang on to it just in case. These I was gifted from Stampin' Up! from my friend Lynn, so I pulled these out. I got these at Hobby Lobby. I've already used some. I just bought these at Hobby Lobby the other day. There's 12 of these bows. Oh, here's some stuff that I already made. Here's, you can use, they're shakers. You can either use them as bookmarks or something. So I've already made a couple of these. And then I've been laminating crazy, guys. Oh my gosh, lamination has been like on my mind. So this is like a pocket. So I'm gonna use that to put something in. I'm not sure what yet. I was at Walmart, I never go to Walmart, but I was at Walmart because I needed to get Zoe some shoes actually the other day. And um, so I saw this and I thought, I don't know, maybe I can do something with this. I got these at the Dollar Tree when I went to LA a couple weekends ago. These are Dollar Tree. These are Dollar Tree wood numbers. And then I, I was at Walmart and I thought I need, probably should get letters too. So got those. I think I got these at Walmart too. So two sizes, four inch and two and a half inch letters. And they're black, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet. These were a dollar at Walmart, five by seven wood. See these wood pieces? So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these yet. I just thought these were so pretty and I got these at Dollar Tree. Can someone do a DIY with this? You know, you've seen these at Dollar Tree. And so I'm gonna be taking these apart and sanding them down and doing something with these. So I bought one piece of brown felt at Joann's and then you may have seen me pick these up at Target Home Leaves thankful and then I pick this up at Hobby Lobby it's fall y'all I think this was gifted to me at some point and so I have that and then this little witch Halloween stamp and then I believe this was a peachy cheap um, order just some paper and stamps Happy fall, everyone. Enjoy the cooler weather.